space. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are set to return to Earth. The undocking from the International Space Station began earlier today, which also marks the end of the nine-month-long situation that they found themselves uh, in the middle of. Sunita Williams remembers returning aboard the SpaceX Dragon space, uh, spacecraft uh, with Wilmore and two other Crew-9 members. And now that their journey back to the Earth has begun, all eyes really on that final leg of the ongoing process. The four astronauts will splash down off the coast of Florida at 3.27 a.m. in the wee hours uh, tomorrow. And this, uh, like I said, after a 17-hour long journey re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. The Prime Minister has also interestingly written to Sunita Williams. This was on the 1st of March, ahead of her return. In fact, he spoke of how he inquired about her health during his meeting with Donald Trump in the United States. But I do want to take uh, take it to a guest joining us on the broadcast. Some very important questions on everyone's mind. So S. Somanath, the former cha chairman ISRO, is with us on the broadcast. Good afternoon to you, sir, and thank you for taking out your time. Like I said, the next few hours are all about a lot of excitement, enthusiasm, curiosity, but, you know, everybody's got their fingers crossed. So tell us a little bit about this final uh, journey of Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore back to the Earth's atmosphere and what kind of challenges, if at all, will they encounter? Well, it's a very interesting uh, story to watch, uh, journey of Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore back to Earth. Uh, of course, they started a journey to come back uh, within a short period, period, say possibly eight days or so, mm. in a new craft uh, that uh, Boeing was keeping it ready for test flight. But then somehow they, their journey got extended because of the problem with the spacecraft, which the Boeing was trying to prove. And now they got, uh, got into International Space Station, the safest place to be there for such a long time. Uh, but I'm very happy today the journey in the Crew Dragon uh, craft, uh, which is yet another craft, is starting. Uh, and uh, hopefully everything will be all right because the Crew Dragon is a very well proven craft. And it has done multiple human space flight missions already, sending through up in the space station and back. So we look forward for both these uh, uh, people who got uh, a prolonged stay in the International Space Station, which they are already been trained and quite capable of handling, are able to come back today. And India primarily watches the whole this event because of our love for them, for wonderful work they are doing, uh, being pioneers in space and being a daughter of India as well. And uh, many challenges, uh, of course, a human space flight is always with a lot of challenges and risks. I think all of you know, mm. uh, the craft is a uh, crew dragon, the spacecraft is well, well proven. But in a mission like this, uh, uh, unless that, uh, the, the, everything works very well, they can get into difficulties. But hopefully, I believe that the mission will go very well. They will have to do some orbiting around Earth yeah. to reach the precise position for deorbiting that is burning their engine to reduce the velocities a bit and because of that that will the craft will re-enter atmosphere go through a very intense heat and high speed uh, return flight uh, and landing it landing it back with the parachutes and retro propulsion working very well mm. mr somnath now everybody's talking about that splashdown it's it's said to take place if we go by the math as of right now uh, in the wee hours tomorrow. But do tell us about what kind of challenges, like I said, and, and the factors that are going to be important to watch out for. Weather is one of those critical factors. What about the other factors? If you can give us some details into the same. Of course, uh, yeah, weather is always a factor, primarily because of the return. Uh, you need to have visibility from ground stations mm. at all points to ensure that they continuously communicate in case of emergencies that they uh, activate in emergency action that they are uh, able to understand where they are alternate launch sites or return sites where they are going to do in case of anomalies develop so mm -hmm. because of that they need to maintain communication throughout of course uh, the u.s system has a global communication network both through ground as well as space-based communication infrastructure is already there and uh, weather of course uh, also prevents uh, rescue operations in sea uh, primarily, the sea states are to be safer for ships to approach and then recover the, uh, the craft from the sea. If it is unduly unsafe uh, to go and recover, possibly they can get stuck in sea for a longer period. Mm. Of course, that is also a part which they are already trained uh, to handle in case of a longer stay in sea. But it has never happened in many of the occasions because weather is uh, well predictable today because of the global model. And unless the weather is good, they will not initiate the return uh, to Earth uh, maneuvers. Uh, possibly they can get extended. 
but okay. i don't think so this time and, and uh, this if time at all, it looks good if if at yeah. all the weather remains in favorable and like i said fingers crossed for that yeah. you know everyone's hoping yeah. everything goes well but if that challenge does become a reality indeed how much of a delay can we expect it can be it can be a few orbits it can be a few hours it can be a day uh, it's all possible based on the assessment that they will make and mm-hmm. primarily the orbit also goes on moving so the landing point gets moved moved with the multiple orbits so they will have to look at what is the most favorable location that they can recover at any point in time and for based on that they may decide a rescheduled burn of re entry appropriate to that depending upon the weather becoming better at that location corresponding to the re entry point so i can't predict at this moment how much it is going to be And Mr. Somnath, once they do get back to the Earth, once they arrive here, of course they're going to be greeted with a warm welcome. The entire yeah. world is talking about the manner in which they've spent these nine months, and uh, you know they've they've been uh, extremely strong through this journey. They've been resilient. Their courage is being lauded by one and all. But they're also going to have to go through a long recovery period. It's going to mean a lot of. Uh, uh health care that needs to be extended to them but what kind of an impact does this kind of a stay in the space mean for an astronaut can you give us some insight several reports talk about loss of bone density muscle density vision perhaps as well okay we'll just reconnect that line with mr somnath some trouble with his uh, line all right i think he's back yes sir Okay, we don't have a very clear line with him, but we'll try decoding uh, with Mr. Somnath, now the former ISRO chairman, on what kind of challenges lie ahead for the four crew members who are now uh, on their way back to the Earth. They're going to be entering the Earth's atmosphere, and some of those technical details that we're trying to break down here for our viewers as well, and what. Uh, their journey is going to be like once they uh, are back on the earth when when they're amongst all of us of course it's going to be a lot of stories that are going to be shared by the fro crew crew members the two nasa astronauts that the entire world is talking about including suni williams and butch wilmore and what really did they go through they've spent birthdays they've spent christmas thanksgiving all of that at the international space center mr somnath i think is back with us yes sir i think you heard my question yeah yeah the 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 issues that are faced by astronauts for a prolonged stay in space has been well uh, you know studied and documented uh, i think many of the issues are you now mostly well known uh, primarily the muscles not being exercising against the gravity uh, causes deterioration of the muscles and there are other physiological changes which includes the as you mentioned the change in the bone density and also the fluid flow pattern within the body uh, in the presence of the gravity there is a certain uh, flow which will get altered in the absence of the gravity in in zero space zero gravity environment and this long duration stay causes a certain amount of permanent changes that will set in in the body which requires you no know, no which requires longer time in and proper treatment or rather recovery in an earth in the gravity environment when they come back and that process can take few months uh, depending upon the prolonged stay in the orbit uh, some of the in, in, in impacts are fully recoverable some possibly to certain percentages of recovery will happen so of course uh, there are other issues uh, which includes the issues like along higher radiation and other issues which could be measured sometimes cannot be measured also hmm. so but in the case of sunitha williams i am very sure that they are continuously monitoring such changes yeah. when they are in, in in orbit in the international space station is fully equipped with the ability to monitor the changes uh, physiological changes that are happening to her so both of them will more and uh, sunitha will be fully no medically evaluated by the time they come back and i am sure the recovery and the re in uh, recovery pa- process would have been well defined by the doctors uh, when they are back in back on earth oh, i'm yes, very sure absolutely. about it and that's why they were even recommended to work out you know uh, do all of those physical exercises for two yeah, to they have, they have to do that day. yeah yeah the, the workout is mandatory there to to reduce the damage or reduce the impact but right. it cannot be fully eliminated you know right. all the muscles that we actually exercise on earth will never get exercised even after they plan right. the type of exercises that they do there so there is a certain amount of changes which will anyway will occur for example gravity cannot be compensated even by restraints uh, it is not possible fully to compensate so it has its own impact 